Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. This is a puzzle game inside a puzzle game, which is insane. And these are the challenge levels. First of the post-game content, which possibly could lead us to a true or secret ending. I don't really know what is at the end of this journey, but I'm excited to go there. So these are levels that were either too hard for the main game or did not quite th thematically fit. So we're going to be seeing a lot of new ideas. Right off the bat though, this actually looks like a harder version of a level I've seen before. And in the old level, what I would do is have this um, block that has space inside of it be held down by three blocks below it. So what I could do is have it be on a goal and still exit into my own goal. But I'm one block short of that happening. So that's not quite it, but it's gonna be something similar. I can feel it. Well, what is the deal with this bump here? The level could have been a perfect square, but there's a bump. How curious. You don't think it could possibly be so that I could push a block inside and then still rescue this back, hmm? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, hold on. If I have this box here and have boxes at their goals here and here, I could have two blocks below the fancy block. And that way I can still enter it. And then I can also push the other box up above me. First one down is a nice cross. So already sweet challenges. First recursion level, I love it. Well, it seems that the first thing I would wanna do is move here so I can push this out. Um, here's the thing though. How on earth am I getting this box to go anywhere? I mean, I could start by moving it say here because I can't push it out of either of those exits. I feel as though this box almost has to swallow the yellow box, but then I come across a little problem here. I mean, I can push the box here, but that does nothing for me. I may have chose the wrong direction. Let me actually reset this. Like how can I push this box down? It doesn't work. Well, maybe I have the wrong idea then. Maybe I'm not supposed to store the yellow block in here because there's only two walls I can push up against to do such a thing. Oh. Okay, this is my first recording of the day. I see why this went so wrong. See, I was talking about how you could push the blue onto the yellow, but I forgot you could push the yellow into blue. Like, it's so early for me, I forgot how basic functions of the game work. So, there we go. That should be simple now. Give it a couple more levels and I'll be hitting my stride, but I am not on stride right now, not even close to it. I have four goals inside yellow, huh? So I feel that what I must do is a little bit of shuffling around of boxes. So that might mean pushing yellow back first. Then I'm not quite sure. Like I imagine I've got to push this back in and then I could push this up. I could like store this here if I wanted to. And then, no, I shouldn't have pushed that over so far. I can store this in here and then bring this over and then down. And then I can store this in here. And then I can store this in. Okay, something's not right. I've gotta have like two green blocks be here and here somehow. Let me try something. Push all three of these out, and then I can do a little bit of eating. I can go eat, eat. I don't wanna eat that third one just yet. Yeah, how do I not eat that third one? It's gotta be possible, yeah. If I back out, push this now, then I can push this down? And now I can just get this by, okay. Question is, will I actually be able to eat that last green block though. So let me take this a few steps back before I doomed a block. Well, I guess I was here. Is there some other way I can arrange these and have it dodge the wrath of the yellow thing? Have I tried this yet? Maybe? Probably not. I would be shocked if uh, there was something here. This is all I can do, again. And now this is just a different cycle. Wait, no, this is actually it. There we go. 
Yep, push that around, and now yellow's on the edge, so now I can push all these out and win inside yellow. That was a very tough one. Cool level. Moving on. Twin levels, huh? Okay, a bunch of boxes with weird nook in them. And then I somehow have to get the yellow block into its hole up there? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to eat. I've got to eat the blue boxes, I see. Well, how is that possible? Because all I do is just push it inside, and it's really small, so I can't create a big wall to stop it from entering. I mean, I can set up a block here, and then enter here, and then... Well, I don't know what then. It seems like it's a transfer-based level. But how do I eat the blue? Oh, I see. It is a transfer level. It is one. So I gotta go up here, and then I gotta eat this. This is the thing I was supposed to learn during the cup level, by the way. So it took me a little bit to get there, but I did get there. And now, I did it wrong. You won't believe it, I pushed the wrong one in. I had to set this one up here and have this go in so I could use the other box as the bottom. Yeah, this, this was a cool concept. And this is like my first level where I actually had to figure it out. And that only took a couple minutes. So I can confirm that if the cup were not there, I at least would have figured it out somewhat quickly. <laughs> well, it's nice to solve that. My goal is way in here. This is just a weird transfer puzzle, as far as I can tell. But it also might include some eating. Let me look, how did these blocks line up? Okay, so I need to test something very important right now. Why? Oh, I enter here. I see. I was like, why can't I just push this blue into that green? And then push it out down here. It's not that simple. And I assume the same will happen here. No. Now I enter it. I see. Hold on. Well, and then I'll enter this. Oh, this is very strange, but understandable. Actually, the only box I don't enter from the left side is the box I gotta end up in. I mean, it's obvious that this is the final step. So the step before has to involve this blue inside this green. This is a lot to think about. I'll even reset. I'm having some ideas, but they're not quite all coming together. There's like loose suggestions, like one suggestion I have is having this blue block be inside this blue block. But how on earth could it get in? Well, it would get in through here, I suppose. And let me actually push this one in for good measure too. I have a hunch that maybe this is the start of it all. All of these need to go in here and then send you down. So I send this one, well, can I not win by setting this up here and then, wait, not quite ready yet. Not quite yet, setting this up here. Oh, and then pushing both of these through, this is a really cool level. And then having this eat that, and then just pushing this in, and then having this eat that, what a sick level. Dude, I'm loving this challenge world so far. I'm starting to hit my stride. The first two levels were very bumpy for me, but now we're getting somewhere. I am a special box. I've just gotta end up with something in my center. So somehow, I need to swallow a block, but I'm only going to enter it. So what gives? Well, I guess again, and then what I have to do is line up two boxes, maybe like this, just here and there. And maybe just have them be on the ground here. So then at least I could push this in, at least I could, well, I would only enter this box though. Let me try this again. If I had this say here, and I had this here, if I entered, then I would eat this box. And then would I do it again is the question. Oh, well, there's nothing to eat. If I set this up along the edge first and just get the eating of that out of the way, then I can make this work. So now we're talking. And that should get the level there, and I get there, and I win. Starting to move more quickly. 
Here we go, tearing through them. Got a recursive level, three goals. Somehow I've got to get this box off the wall. Well, the green box has to be involved, surely. How bad does it seem? I exit through the green and then I come out here. No, it, it might be just that easy. Well, okay, I caused a bit of a stuck section here. Okay, what if the green eats the yellow too? Is that feasible? It might be feasible. It honestly might be the answer even. Because I can exit this and go here and then enter back in here and just have the yellow bee say, well, on one of these goals, and then I go back into the green, push this out, push this in. There we go. We're moving. I'm loving these challenge levels. Keep it moving. There's a goal inside the green, huh? So if I have the green eat this, well, I can have this eat a little further. And now what I could do is at least push out the yellow to here. And then I can exit here. And now I just need to exit blue and I win. Nice. Chugging through them. Picking up the pace. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Four weird recursive levels. Okay. So each of the boxes have a goal. Which box will end up here? Well, it's probably going to have to be a box that lets you exit to the top. So green makes the most sense. Well, but how do I exit out of green now? It's like I have to create an entangled recursion and then undo it very slowly. Green is inside blue. Purple is inside green. Orange is inside purple. And blue is inside orange. So blue is inside orange. Let's get started on that. Just push you right in here. And then orange is inside purple. And actually, let me, let me take this a little further just to be safe. So why did I pick that order? Well, it's the order that allows me to rescue the shapes if need be. Well, and actually I will need be. So what this looks like is here. So now I've got to go in kind of deep, right? So I got to set this up here. Exit orange. Come over here. Exit the purple. Put this over here. Exit to green. I can push green in. I can put... Oh, is this still going to work? It might still work. This might still work. Yeah, I just got to keep exiting. And just keep exiting and win. Oh, yes. These are the best levels yet. These are the best levels yet. I love it. Recursive block in the corner. Got to get to both of these yellows. Why are there little nubs down here? That doesn't make any sense. It's not like I can move the recursive level off this corner. So what thing I need to do is push this out. And then push this back in. This will serve as a barrier. So now I can enter yellow. Exit here. Push this off. So at least now I can get this one. And then I just got to rinse and repeat with the other block. So yeah, I push out this way. And then I enter it and go down here. There we go. Nice and simple. This is the pace I like to be doing. What is this? Oh god, these are clones. Oh my god. Okay, so I got... Which one's the real level? It doesn't matter which one's the real level. I just have to make it to my goal. There's just me getting to my goal. And that's at the box above me. So I have to enter there. But I have to push these so I can actually enter somewhere. Where do I actually enter? Is it... Um, oh, I see. So I can only move up and to the right. So it just wraps around. This is where I enter. So that makes perfect sense. But it still cycles because I'm in a clone or something like that. Just think of this like a 24 puzzle. Don't think about this in the terms of the game Patrick's Parabox. Just think about this in the terms of games you may already know. So here I've aligned two blocks decently. Oh, and here's the third block. You know what though? That means I gotta push these over a little bit. I'm confusing myself. I need to reset. It might be a little bit easier from here. This is a very obscure path to take. I'm starting to realize that 
Due to the nature of the path, I might have to move boxes from within the boxes. But I don't know if that's actually a thing. Like, say I want to enter... Well, I can't enter in there. Bad example. Say if I want to enter in here. That just pushes. But if I, say, had a helpful box next to it... Then entered. Now what? Because, like, I could still push myself. I see now. Yeah, I can cycle my own box. And I can go around here, and I can cycle this, too. It's all making sense now. Oh, this is actually really annoying. I picked the worst spot to cycle. Oh, I see. I have to enter from below like this. And these need to be set up in a spot where I can instantly enter the goal. All right, so this whole thing is going to be a bit of a mess. Maybe from this area. Damn you hole. Well, this looks like it works, actually. So, it worked out. Mm, a bit of stress. Visualization was a little crappy, but it got done. It's a possession level. I'm in a level, and I have a level and a clone. Okay, ultimate goal end up in my goal up there. Well, so, what I don't get is why I don't put this here. No! First off, this block is massive. It takes forever to cross, and that's blocked off. No pun intended. Well, huh. I feel like I kind of get the idea. What do you have to figure out is the midpoint of this block? And actually, let me first move this right here real quick. And then what I'm just going to do is set you up so the wall can be at the middle point. This will make sense very shortly. So let me just... <laughs> this gets me every time. Push this back out here. And something I wish I had done... No, it's fine. I can push this here. The clone here. Push this here. Because it's so small, what's going to happen is I'm going to attempt to enter this, but actually... Create an Epsilon Paradox. That's not right. Um, I'm meant to go here. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's like I knew I was going to do that the whole time. That I just forgot the second I actually meant to enter it. This looks cool. Okay. There. Oh, is this like seven times nested empty blocks? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. So the hard part won't just be the exiting, but also being able to push the void blocks in the appropriate direction seems tough. So let me exit here and allow this to be pushed outside of itself. Well, but now it's recursive. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, no. That's not right. I hate this level. I hate this level already. Just go all the damn way in. Once I'm in purple, I can push out red. And then once I'm in red, I can push out yellow. But it's not that easy. Now it's kind of that easy. I just have to follow a consistent path. So once I'm in red, I can push out yellow. And I want to push it to the left. Next. Once I'm in orange, I can push out yellow. And I definitely meant to say orange last time. Now, let me exit here. And then once I'm in light green i can push out or once i can push wait you get the idea once i'm in yellow i push out green once i'm in green i can push out blue and then i'm missing a box has to be because the box i'm missing is oh just this itself it's actually not that bad okay yep 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 done it's very pretty looking level actually that was the most aesthetically pleasing level i've seen in entirety but it didn't really do much new this, it's a cycle. It's a two-way cycle. Interesting. Well, I'll probably want to push it to the point where I can enter this and now become a part of the cycle. Very cool. Well, let me line up with this little block down below. Enter it. Check out what the deal is. Hmm. That's odd. Do I have a way to make that push? That's strange. I don't seem to have a way to enter there. Oh, well, it flips, doesn't it? That's supposed to be part of the catch. So I push this over, and then I've got to flip the red thing. 
Oh, but that doesn't work as well as you would hope it would. Does it ever flip? No, I end up just pushing myself back. Let me reset. I gotta figure out how to flip that. So enter. And well, if I go this way, I still go through this cycle. Can I still flip it from here? No, it's always in the same direction. Here. Here. Oh, oh, okay, there we go, there we go. That's something, that's something. It's centered again. Actually, let me push over once more. And now I may flip. I may be able to flip this. If I go here. Yes! It did flip, it just looks super weird. Well, now I have to do it again. I guess it's just the game's way of making me prove I knew what I was doing. Which is fine, I guess. Um, yeah, just gotta flip it back. So I gotta go here, and then I push it over. And I'll push it over again, and then... Well, I guess I can go all the way to here. Just to push this over, and then once I get to flip once more, I will win. So here I am. And then send it all the way over to here. Oh, and I can win. Nice. Yeah, so it's just getting on the different side of the level itself, and then it flips. And this is, I think, a lot of clones? Mm, that's chunky. Okay, I had four eyes. That is chunky. Okay. What on earth? I've entered this. I've entered this. Let me push this out. Okay, can I push the goal in? What in the hell is going on here? Good lord, what is happening in here? Okay, I think I've saved myself. See, I, I even got one on the goal. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like I know how that works. It just happened, okay? It just happened. Okay, I did it again. This time, though, I think it got set up poorly. And also, I need four boxes. I only see three. This is disgusting. Let me reset. Here's what I need to figure out. I got four boxes. I just swallowed infinity. What? What? On... Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. What the hell is happening here? Do I really need to understand this? This seems like the most conceptually brain-melting level I've ever done. And I feel that I should just ignore it and move stuff around. So I get it, like, all the boxes there are clones of me. And there's also an infinite clone, which is just absolutely lovely, I know. Alright, I've done this once. Now I've just got to repeat twice more. Whatever the hell I've been doing, just do it again. I need a flip right now. Is it possible for me to flip? I could either flip or get this here, but the only way I can flip is if I, well, flip this box. So if that goes here, done a box inside a box there, that's definitely not what I want. Reset. Okay, so go in here, it flips. Go in here, it flips, flips. Okay. And actually enter any of these, I come out of the paradox. They don't all flip though, but a lot of them do. So just take one of these and go in here. This is correct. Now the question is, can I repeat? Maybe I need a flip first. Come out here. Go in here. And yes, push this here, and now this one can go in. Just trust the process, and enjoy the soothing voice. Because that's all we're gonna get from this, that is all. No, that was backwards, I need to flip. I don't know if this will work if it flips though. Yeah, flipping isn't gonna help here, I almost need to swallow this, do it this way? No. Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now I just got to get the infinity block. And how on earth did I do that? Oh, like that, of course. 
Naturally. Why? Oh no. Is this the only one I can't do it on? Oh no. Hold on. It doesn't work. It doesn't work! Damn it, I'm in a jam. Okay, I freed this. Maybe it works now. Yes, it works now. I'm not gonna pretend I understand how that works, but I solved the puzzle. And honestly solved it pretty quickly. It wasn't fully guess and check. It's just the ideas were incomprehensible to my tongue. So this is a cycle level. Um, it looks like there's a clone. What is the clone which is the real thing? Okay, that's been solved. This one is the real thing. But, how does this help me? I push this way to create the cycle. And I just have to get to my goal. That's all that matters. Well, what's up with this gap? Does this block here help me? It just lets me push a little further. whoop de doo Maybe I have to create an Epsilon Paradox of some sort? Does this even work? No, it just creates a cycle. Well, maybe I could set... Wait, I could set this up in here. And then can I create some sort of push like this? So I push now. Okay, pretty clever. Took me a little bit to get it. There wasn't too much to do, but you know, pretty cool level. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully the second half will be even better for me than the first. What is going on here?